And now we have The Moises Show with your host, Moises Davidson. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Moises Show. I am your host, Moises Davidson. Today, we have two guests, James Spano and Zoe Pausch. So, Zoe and James, can you please share where you're from, your major, and your grade level? So, I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm a senior. I'm a criminal justice major with a minor in psychology. Um, I am from Roanoke, Virginia, so kind of like Southwest Virginia. I am majoring in art education and painting, and I am a sophomore. Very excellent. <laughs> Very good. I also like how the way you're both dressed. You have a nice pea coat. You have a nice alpha, all the patterns. You look like a musician. Thank you. you really do, yeah. <laughs> So Zoe, I know you're very involved in our worship team. You sing, you play the guitar. So you can please share about your experiences on the Catholic worship team and also how you first got involved in music. Mm -hmm. So I, I first got involved in the worship team here my freshman year at BCU. And I just auditioned because I had already known for like a few months, like that summer before I came here, that I wanted to join a worship team. And I think it's just one of the reasons why I wanted to do that is because I, I did grow up with music. Like I grew up first learning piano when I was super young because my mom wanted me to. And then, um, and then she, my family also put me in choir for like from like fifth grade until I graduated high school. And, um, and those were all super great experiences. And my mom also, she is, uh, she used to be one of the worship leaders at our church back home. So worship was really a huge part of my life growing up. Like I would always hear the songs just like she'd be practicing them like on the piano in our like um, living room or um, or I would like go with her to church for rehearsals and things like that. So even before I had like a real relationship with God, like worship was always something I was really like passionate about and like that I always like wanted to be a part of, I guess. And so I came here and I was able to um, be in the worship team and I've been learning from different people like Hunter, who was our worship leader last year, and um, and then Noah, who has stepped up to fill his shoes this year. And they've both been super amazing mentors and just teaching me the ropes of the worship team. And um, But yeah, it's a really amazing opportunity to be able to worship and serve in that way, in a way that is so like deeply ingrained in my heart, and to be able to serve other people and serve God that way is just awesome. I love it. Right. It's wonderful. And worship, yes, is meant to be a lifestyle, but it's also great that someone like you, Zoe, can be blessed with this gift to lead and facilitate worship the way you do, to benefit the body, to benefit the church, and it's wonderful. And also, with your example, I see the discipleship-making process being executed, mm -hmm. how Hunter, he was a worship leader. Now Noah, my fellow intern and coworker, also leads it. Hunter passed on his knowledge to you, and now you have been executing knowledge you received. So it's nice to see this discipleship making process be executed properly with people being able to pass down to generations their gifts, their talents, and their skills. And that's what Calf is about. Discipleship by making other disciples. And that's very wonderful. And it's so beautiful to see it take place on our worship team at Women. <laughs> and you're a real blessing to our team. I love your cheerful personality. You. You're so diligent. You're reliable. And... <laughs> I'm very thankful that you're one of our servant leaders, Zoe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm super glad I got to be part of it. So, James, now that you're graduating, I know you're excited. You're almost at that finish line. That degree is about being in your hand. You're about <laughs> to finish this marathon. College. So now that you've been a servant leader, you've been a small group leader, what are your goals in terms of ministry or working in the marketplace? Um... Well, Moises, um, I can actually fit both of those into this question here. Um, so first of all, I'd really love to stay in the Richmond area, I think, for a couple of years because I love it out here. Um, and it's a good place for jobs in my field. I'm thinking I'm going to try to become a certified paralegal and work for a law firm when I first get out. And if I ever feel the call to take the extra step, maybe an attorney at some point. And when it comes to worship, I'm thinking... I might get big in chapel. I may try to really get involved in there because I've noticed chapel and Chi Alpha 
seem to have a very similar worship style. Mm -hmm. And it's a worship style that I feel really fits me in a sense where there's a lot of song singing. People get really hype and just <laughs> they really get their hearts focused in on Jesus. And it really helps with my focus on God personally because I'm a person who's easily distracted by worldly things a lot. Because mm. I myself, since I was a kid, I'm open to this. I've struggled with ADHD really, really bad. And... I definitely really like the whole chapel environment, how the Holy Spirit just moves through it, through people singing, and just the way Brandon just gives out his messages every single Sunday with just a really powerful attitude, you know, mm -hmm. just really trying to get people to hear it as best as he can. And yeah, that's all of my goals right now. <laughs> that's very wonderful. And for those of you that don't know, the chapel is an AG church here in Richmond that sponsors Chi Alpha. Many students and Chi Alphians go to chapel on Sunday morning and are involved in different capacities. So it's a wonderful relational life-giving church. And James, to encourage you with your goals of being a paralegal, staying in the Richmond area, I want to encourage you that ministry is something we're all called to do because the Great Commission is for all believers. And whether you're a paralegal, you're a lawyer, a doctor, a pastor, a missionary, we're all called to share the gospel and be influencers in our sphere of influence. And that's why I like Alpha because we're helping to equip future leaders. Because I firmly believe that God can change the world through college students. Yeah. We equip you with skills and knowledge where you can be effective in the marketplace, in church, so you can play a role in transforming the college campus, the world, simply through the gospel. That's why I love what Scott Martin says, our national director that we are in one of the greatest student awakenings in history. And it's such an honor for me just to be in partnership with all of you. And James, I love your personality. Thank you. I could see you having some type of podcast or a comedy show, <laughs> all the above with your personality. You're a very likable guy. I like your voice. Dude, thank you. I really appreciate it. Moises, I say the same thing right back at you. <laughs> um, you know, you're just like an all around great guy. You crack me up all the time i want to tell you that <laughs> likewise yeah cool i know i have noticed we're kind of alike you know? right yeah and i think you make a great lawyer because i think you'd be that lawyer that is not stiff you'd be the entertaining lawyer really? i think we need more of that but because you're a believer you also be honest and forthright yes and we absolutely. need more honest lawyers i want to try my best i try my best to be as honest as possible you know because as i said i have noticed there is a lot of dishonesty in this world and I myself, you know, am, am dishonest sometimes. We all are. But my goal is really to also bring more honesty into the world, as you said. Right. And that's why, you know, with Chi Alpha, our focus, yes, is mission on the college campus, but it's bigger than that. We're talking about impacting the world and not just changing the college campus. I'm talking about seeing the government change, seeing hospital rooms change, seeing classrooms change, transforming this whole world for Jesus. By having people like you, James, that are honest, your side believers, people that can work in the government, work in politics, work in law, that can really help our nation really be more aligned with God's values. Mm. Because that's really missing nowadays. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's how we can glorify God with these kind of jobs. Because when I was, listen when I was listening to, Go no, I'm sorry, Joe Gordon speak mm. at um That's salt, salt. Mm -hmm. at salt yeah, yeah that was great <laughs> yeah it's like he was saying you don't have to do mission work or to become a pastor to glorify god you can glorify god with literally anything you know colossians work under god not under man as long as you're on time you show a smile you do so much with just that because the way we carry our lives that's the fruit that comes from our relation with god because the spiritual, it does deposit into the physical. Mm -hmm. And people will see that and they'll notice that. They'll want your joy, your peace. And when you display it to them and they ask you where you got it from, you can tell them it comes from Jesus and my relation with him. And you can have that also. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I've had a great time conversing with you, James and Zoe. So last question for both of you. What is your favorite Chi Alpha memory? Um... Let's see. I have a couple, but my favorite one was my mission trip last year. Okay. Because I remember my call to that trip. Um, it kind of felt like this. It was like I had this huge part of me felt this huge desire and want to go. And then there were other parts about it that literally made me not want to touch it with a 10 foot pole. Mm -hmm. But um, what happened was I, they were announcing the mission trips. And I thought, 
Why right now would I feel like I would really want to get out of any of these three trips? Am I being called? So then the next day, Jeremiah says, hey, everyone in our group, he says, hey, everybody, like, we need more people to go. to. Does anyone from this small group want to go? And I'm like, God, are you telling me something right now? So I pray about it. I'm like, Lord, if you want me to go, may he message me directly. The next morning I wake up and I see a message to me saying, hey, man, we just want to join our team. And I'm like, wow, this is this is crazy. So I talked to Mike about it, about finances, and he goes, oh, don't worry about that. We're going to support Ray's. We'll get the finances set to where you need to be. And I was like, all right, God, you want to count me in. <laughs> but on that trip, we had a lot of really, a lot of moments of growth on that trip, because when you're in a foreign country that has a lot of difficulty in it, and with a country where 99% of these people haven't even heard of the gospel, you see the world from a whole different perspective and you realize how God's really using you in these places. And at the same time, we also had a lot of funny moments on that trip as well. Like when we went to this village called <laughs> for two days, I forgot we were staying overnight and I left my whole suitcase over in <laughs> and I didn't have my toothbrush. I didn't have extra clothes. All I had was a bag of pop tarts <laughs> and a bag of oatmeal. And um, I think I had one more thing and that was all I had. And then, um, yeah, so what happened was I went to the river to wash myself in my own clothes so I can get my clothes and self clean. And I did draw a lot of attention doing that. <laughs> my whole team was just laughing at me along with a few people who lived in. And I think Jeremiah had to explain to them the whole situation of why I was doing it, because not only did I want to clean myself, but I want to clean clothes as well. So, <laughs> and that was a moment that me and my team constantly still brings up to this very day that's good yeah you made a nice memory that you can reflect on and laugh about that's good and you also were part of something very inspirational and impactful yeah you know, to help share the gospel with the natives mm -hmm. the villagers and that's wonderful as a college student type of experience yeah i was not expecting that when i joined chi alpha i thought you know this would be like my community i had back at community college you know i'm gonna go just worship I don't know if missions are really my thing, but I went on that and it was so life changing. Like I still almost think about it every day. Ever Very since. cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had the opportunity. Yep, and I'm going to yeah. partying it up. It'll be fun for both of us. <laughs> so Zoe, what's your favorite Catholic memory? Um I don't know. I I was kind of trying to think and I feel like my favorite Catholic memory is probably salt. I just like the whole weekend was so like restorative and like I just I really needed it like it was because I've been having kind of like weird internal battles since like um the end of the fall semester or like the middle of the fall semester and I just like I haven't been feeling close to God like I haven't been keeping up with my like devotions and stuff like that and just like spending time with him but and I had been praying like d throughout that time like make me more desperate for you like convict me of like whatever I need conviction for and like just things like that and to like refocus my life and like during salt like he answered that prayer like I already had a feeling that like this year like 2020 was going to be great um but like we went to salt and just everything that Joe Gordon was saying was so like like encouraging to me like convicting but also encouraging to like like just lay everything down and like stop holding on to little things that don't matter and he was saying things like like if you don't if you don't start, then you'll like never go. Like it's way easier for God to stop you from doing something than to make you start doing something. And just like that, if you live for yourself, other people die. But if you die to yourself, other people live and just like stuff like that. Cause I like, it's really important to me to like share the gospel with other people, obviously. Cause I like want other people to experience like not just heaven, but like what it's like to live in this kind of community and like to have this kind of love that's like unconditional from God and from other people. So I don't know, just him saying that kind of refocused me in a way. And, like, I, like, worshipped kneeling for the first time in, like, my entire life. And it was so freeing. I, like, I don't know why I had, like, stopped myself from doing that for so long. But then, like, over salt I did. And, like, I don't know, I was just praying there for a long time. And it, like, I don't know, it really was a life-changing experience. I loved salt. It was right. so good. Yeah, salt was fun. <laughs> so right. good. Yeah. Right. And we got to go to the art museum. So that was nice. also fun. <laughs> yeah. Museum is always fun. Yeah. 
Yeah. You do have this art vibe about you. Yep. That's also your major, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. So SALT, everyone, is our regional winter conference every year where every Chi Alpha from Virginia up until Maine attends. And it was just so much fun being with 600 college students worshiping Jesus. We had a fantastic, phenomenal guest speaker. And mm -hmm. Zoe, you were just empowered by his teachings and the whole weekend. And that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's why we do these things. Empowerment. Mm -hmm. So, everyone, thank you for watching. And thank you for your continual prayers, your support into Catholic Campus Ministry. As you can see, this is the fruit of your investment. And just like with the testimonies of Zoe and James, we have many other testimonies of people being touched here in Rush Venture Chi Alpha. I just want to thank you again for your support, your calls, your texts. You are part of this journey just as much as I've been a part of it. I can't thank you enough. I wish you the best. Have a powerful week. And remember, love God, love people, and pass it on.